Hey guys, it's the Metal Blade 5. Welcome back to more Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Last time, we made it to the basement of Woohoo Hoo University and fought Pablo and Rookie a second time and found out that Rookie was actually Bowser. Possibly an even greater reveal than Darth Vader. I did not see that coming. And we crash landed in Oahu Oasis where Mario and Luigi learned the powers of fire and thunder, respectively, and met these mysterious creatures known as the OG. Now, this time, we're going to start off with a little bit of exploration of Oasis because, hopefully, please move into my fire. If you attack the Ohoji with hand powers that are um, related to their color, they go mental, as you see there, and you can actually fight them. Now, this is interesting because the Ohoji have a chance of dropping a very good piece of equipment called the Ohoji Wear, which is very good. And I want to get it. And. Oh, nothing. Don't worry, I only pretend to be dead. Haha, <laughs> funny. Yeah, you can fight them as many times as you want, but I tried recording this before, and for the life of me, I could not get a single freaking Oho G wear. I've seemed to notice. From other, like, playthroughs of this game, that it seems to be the blue ones that do it better. So with the blue ones. Wrong button. Um, you have to use, um, thunder. Please move back towards me. You dick. I hate trying to hit these things. There. So, one thing I should also mention is that now also you can actually use your hand powers in battle. So, both of them, when they're fully charged, let me just press the, the button for the respective brother. Think! If fire hurt me, I take double damage from fire. I hurt already, and the reverse... Red ones, they take double damage from thunder. Thunder me, thunder me now. Um, if you hit them with their um, with their respective elements, that will just heal them. So, all, all, a lot of enemies do actually have specific weaknesses to whatever element. And again, I can't get anything. Okay, I finally got an OG wear. Although I would recommend getting two of the. Well, wait a minute. I should actually check what they do first compared to what I have right now. Okay. So. Equipment so Mario with the Ohoji where that increases his um, HP and defense and same for and Luigi just increases his HP Well with Luigi it's only by one point, so I'll just stick with this for Mario I hope you won't get pissed off by that so Okay with that You see there was one thing I wanted to show off I completely um, Just wanted to bother getting the Ohoji out of the way, which is this other um, Radio an old tape machine. We play it it has been 30 weeks since our research expedition arrived here. The time, it speeds by. Today, we made the most surprising discovery. We approached the Red Ohoji and happened to ignite it in a bizarre accident. The moment this Red Ohoji was touched by the flames, it turned into a monster. This monster Ohoji attacked us, as, mi as might any creature that dislikes being set on fire. Unfortunately, the researcher was attacked then transformed into an Ohoji. We must conclude that it is best not to approach an Ohoji if one plans to set it on fire. It is better to stand a short distance away and then set fire to it if one wishes. Surely the blue Ohoji will respond to some stimuli and also transform into monsters. It may invite trouble, but clearly this must be researched more. Science demands it! Okay, that didn't really appear to turn into a monster from what we saw, but anyway. With that, we can now activate these altars that were here when we arrived on the island in the first place with fire and thunder, and I keep getting the frickin- I keep pressing L when I mean to press R. So once we activate these two altars, it creates a bridge that leads us over to the yellow pipe. Now the yellow pipes are different from the other types of pipes we've seen so far, because when you drop down them, you fall instantly to the bottom, but if you hold A and B and up, you climb up them. But I don't want to climb back up, since this is where we need to go. And now we are under the sea. Oh ho, ocean. Tips for novice divers. You can swim by do doing solo jumps on the ocean floor. Tap the buttons quickly to float higher and higher in the water. When two people swim together, they can move much faster through the water. So yeah, as you say, when you jump, Mario and Luigi move very fast. So with that, and... Also, for some reason, as with all Mario games, you can use fire underwater. And that somehow gets rid of yellow coral, I don't know. But also, yeah, there are also enemies over under here that we have to deal with, and there we go, I wanted to show these off. We have, um, Goom Divers, here we go. So, showing off the hand powers a bit more, I don't think this does that much, but I think they might be weak too. Oh shit. 
Oh, I remember this attack. I do not like this attack. There. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought. Okay, I think they might be weak to electricity. No, they're not. I thought they would be, considering that they're... You know, they're wearing metal diving helmets. Ugh. I'm not... Somebody, I'm just gotten bad at the time of the Chopper Bros for some reason. Okay, so wait, it was overhead, then use the hammer. Okay. I think I can still hit with Knockback Bros, though. And I need to get the freaking advanced command of Knockback Bros, because it's great, and I actually know how to fucking use it. And Luigi levels up. Okay. So, Luigi, um... A little bit more BP. Thank you, I did not get a 1. Okay, so... Anyone, you want to swim over these spikes. If you get a hit, you're going to go back to the entrance of the room that you're currently in. So... And over here, also, you probably already noticed this, but the bubbles indicate where the uh, diving goombas, or uh, goom divers, whatever, are. And now we have um, an electric uh, device. We use thunder. We can activate it. And this will open this door. Oh, there we go. Then we can head on. And we got another spike filled room. And new enemy! Oh shit. It's kind of an awkward place to fight them, but yes, there are bloopers in this game. And I do not like fighting them. Mainly because of this attack. Because I'm usually not fast enough in order to hit them. Luckily, I was there. Alright. So, Chalabros. There we go. I kind of noticed with Chalabros is that with like the shorter like enemies, like Mario doesn't jump as high and that kind of throws off my timing a bit, which is why I've been kind of sucking with the timing lately. Whew. Okay. So we're gonna just hit this guy. Yeah, take them out. And I was about to say, Mario should get a level up from that. Again, I seem to be kind of lacking in power, at least when compared to Chugger Gomer's Let's Play, so I'm gonna increase Mario's power. Oh, oh god. Yeah, yeah, when you're in a battle, make sure to keep pressing the A and B buttons after you leave the battle, otherwise you're going to fall into the spikes. Okay. So, oh god. Whew. I don't know if this is where we're supposed to go, but... Let's no, wait. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Hit that. Just then, that one, that one, that one. Okay, there. You just gotta remember the sequence, which is very simple. So, this one. And this one. And this one. And I believe it was this one. I was kind of too busy talking at that part. Damn it. Okay. I accidentally did the same thing again. There, I'm. I should be ashamed of myself. I'm great at fucking memory puzzles, and I'm just too busy fucking talking. Ugh, oh, it's making me hate myself now. I've been hating myself a lot recently, but just because of something that fucking happened last night, and it's really bothering me. Ugh. Oh, okay, what I'll probably do is I'll come back and fight some of these enemies off-screen to gain a bit more experience, just because I kind of want to get a move on. So, screw you. Oh! New enemy! <laughs> Whoa, okay, random timing! Oh, great, I can't even attack it. Um, we have just pest nuts again, except they're underwater this time. But there is something a bit different. When they turn into beanies, they actually just flow straight up to the surface. You don't actually have to fight the beanies. And then, luckily, we can get up, and they have a week to fire. I don't know if the thing will be for electricity. Nope. Uh, they appear to have- Oh, shit! These ones can poison you! And I think that you can't jump as high when they're so... I can take this one out. I think I can win this before Mario gets, um, killed, so... Okay. As long as the, uh, the, uh, bloopers just use their frickin', uh, other attack. There. Okay. And I think Mario is healed? Yeah, Mario, you do get healed after battles from status conditions, okay. So with that, we have reached the end of Oho Ocean. As I said earlier, I'll come back and fight these enemies later on. Um, just for some experience. And so, just head up here to leave. Hopefully. Yes.
Meanwhile, near the border. A great cat letter. W will this guy do? A anyone will do now. Hurry, quickly.